Every prepper needs a sleeping bag, period. There's no other way to say it. If you're into disaster preparedness, it's an unwritten rule that every family member needs to have their own sleeping bag, and it should be stored in their bug out bag. The weight and material of the sleeping bag are important factors that you need to consider when purchasing one. The material used needs to be strong and thick enough to keep you warm, but it shouldn't be heavy and cumbersome. The SE EB1220R Emergency Sleeping Bag Kit is one of the highest rating sleeping bags on Amazon with hundreds of mostly positive reviews. While the name of the item may seem a little strange, it does seem to do its job. Weighing around 5.8 ounces, the sleeping bag measures 3 feet by 7 feet. It is comfortable and constructed with a heavy duty PE material that will help to insulate the bag and keep you warm. The drawstring bag helps to keep everything neat and compact for easy packing. While the product specs mention that it is in high visibility orange, if you're bugging out in the wild it's best to always sleep in a camping tent. Sleeping exposed is never a good idea when you're outdoors. Do note that even if you're not bugging out during a disaster, you may still end up needing a sleeping bag. If relatives move in with you because their house got damaged in the hurricane, they could use it to sleep in. What about if you need to move to an evacuation center to stay safe? You can still use these sleeping bags. The emergency sleeping bag produced by SE is versatile, reusable, and tear resistant. That's excellent because living outdoors can be rough on your equipment. It's imperative that you only purchase a genuine sleeping bag. If you had a dollar for every counterfeit sleeping bag out there, let's just say you'd have a lot of dollars. The difference between the knockoffs and the genuine item is that the material used to make the cheap counterfeits are thin, easily torn, and barely provide any insulation. If you're staying in a cold climate and the power goes out during a crisis, sleeping in your bed may not be an option because it's just too cold. The area to heat ratio is not in your favor. This is one scenario when you have a bed at home, but you still need the sleeping bag. So, you can use the sleeping bag on your bed to help keep yourself warm. If that's not enough, you can use an additional Mylar blanket to retain more heat. When using a sleeping bag such as this one, always leave your head exposed so that you can breathe. Do not bury your head inside the sleeping bag and suffocate yourself. The material is not breathable. If you have children, make sure they're aware of this. To conclude, this emergency sleeping bag is as good as any and you should get one and see if it's right for you. If it all seems good, get one for each family member too. This is one of those items that's a must-have.